ISD is rolling out a revamped program when children head back to classes next week. And they hope it will improve performance, attendance, and graduation rates. KXAN education reporter Aaron Cargile is live at AISD headquarters with the details tonight. Aaron? Good evening, uh, Shannon and Robert. The school board started looking at this plan about 30 minutes ago. They're still talking about it behind me, and that plan includes these stats. AISD has more than 8,000 special ed students. Nearly half have a learning disability. More than 1,700 have speech impairments, and about 1,000 have autism. Now take a look at their graduation rates. They're about 20% lower than non-special ed peers and when it comes to attendance special ed students miss more class it's why AISD is changing its staffing structure from the top down to serve children better I have a lot of anxiety right now about next Monday and it's it's grown over the last week Debbie Tulaney's son Miles is starting the eighth grade in a new school in a new city on the outside, he looks like a normal 13-year-old, but he needs more assistance than most. He's severely autistic, nonverbal. He has epilepsy. She's been in talks with his new campus, O'Henry Middle School, since April to make the transition from Dripping Springs to Austin ISD as smooth as possible. I just want him to be happy. I really do, and and I want him to be surrounded by people that have had the proper training. To, to work with him, to anticipate his needs as they come up, and um, to be enthusiastic. Edmund Oropez with AISD says she can rest assured the district is rolling out changes special ed parents will notice. They'll start to notice that there's more integrated services that are going across the board, that we work a little more seamlessly. Our staff developments, we're teacher training, our administrative trainings, they're more integrated now. We're looking at with bilingual, our bilingual team, our special ed team, our core content area team, that they're working seamlessly together to better serve our kids. I've seen a lot of talk and not a lot of action, so I'll be really, really um, curious to see if, if it all actually leads to some, some beneficial change for the students, and I hope it does. Debbie also tells me that the biggest problem she sees with special education is money. Teacher aides, like the ones who work side by side with her son during the school day, don't get paid enough. That causes a revolving door, and then it's back to square one. Live at AISC headquarters, Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. The school board is also talking about options for a magnet school in South Austin. Tonight, officials presented two options for moving forward. They can repurpose the South Austin campus for $16 million or they can build a new facility for $134 million. Both options require the district to get more funding. AISD is hoping to ease overcrowding at Bowie and Aikens High Schools.